I am thrilled to be here for this particular session on music cryptography. Tried a couple of things um, with our year 10 students and they've worked wonderfully well, I have to say, over the course of the last four or five years. Uh, my encouragement to you is if you're a person that goes, look, tech's not hugely my thing, um, if there are parts of these that you thought, hey, look, maybe I could give it a go, I'd encourage you to do so because uh, the girls absolutely adore it. I am um, from a K-12 to private girls school. Um, however, our numbers in class music, when it gets to the end, uh, year 11 and 12, dwindle, dwindle, dwindle. And, and I'm not quite sure of how it works here in New Zealand, but I can tell you that the state average for a year 12 music class in Western Australia hovers between three and six, um, which is really quite distressing for a lot of us really when you're talking that there is 450 girls in this school that are actively involved uh, in music making yet not necessarily does that translate to the classroom. So that was a little bit of a challenge we sent ourselves a few years ago is why is that? Over the course of the last five years our numbers have gone from the 10s to 12s to the 20 to 25 in that year 10. So we've sort of doubled our numbers pretty consistently. Um, one of the things we've tried to do across the college um, is, is look at what's the hook and make some sort of real life application to what the girls are doing. But it was through this code and cryptography uh, link that got the kids to be able to just engage with music and actually um, be able to respond to it and compose using, without the fear of um, something new. Um, over the course of this term, the students did need to record a solo piece with accompaniment. That was uploaded to their website. We'll talk about that later. We then had a look at the French system of cryptography where each um, white note of the piano, A, B, C, D, E, F or G, corresponds to one of four different letters. Um, I was up at um, Main Admin the next morning for other staff at quarter to seven in the morning and there were eight girls lined up outside the locked uh, administration building, eight of them who had spent all night trying to crack it and they were there because they wanted to be the first one and of course that then led them to another one that had to go and find the locker and the key and all that. Instead of carrying wads of paper around, I've got PDFs and I've got um, WAV files and MP3 recordings and, and video formats all in one website, which just when I sat down and looked at the website when I wanted and, and marked it. Um, this is what we have at our college, right? And that is just, you know, Zoom reco recorders floating around for individual recordings and stuff. Girls did a lot of this stuff on their phones. <laughs>